Hey everybody, what's going on? We are back in Alaskan Road Truckers and I figured today I would do just a quick short video on the headquarters and what you can expect and what you can find here in your headquarters once you get the game. We are less than a week from uh, console release. So I know a lot of you guys are out there super excited about this and I want to kind of show you some of the insides of the game that you can expect. So we're going to go check out our office and you get to this after you do the initial tutorial mission, it'll tell you how to get here. So once you go inside, you've got this big open area. I honestly don't know what's planned for this area. I know during the Halloween special, they had a update where they had like a skeleton creature that was penned up inside of here. It was pretty cool. I've got a video about it on one of my playlists, but, and you know, kind of looks like a little workshop area. You've got a little container that you do have some stuff in here. So that's nice. And so it's a little bit of storage inside of here. And, you know, to be quite honest, I didn't even know that was there. Uh, so yeah, tire chains, a jacket, some painkillers, a flashlight. So yeah, and that's all stuff that you automatically get on your truck anyway. So that's pretty handy. And don't worry about my guy. He's super tired right now, but I kind of wanted to wait and show you one of the perks of coming to the office to sleep. There you've got your computer, little coffee maker, you know, nice little messed up couch. I wish you could straighten that cushion, but you can't. So if you come back here to the back room, you've got your nice cozy little, cozy little area to sleep. And the nice thing is when you come back here to rest, when you rest for eight hours, you get a hundred percent of your energy back. Whereas when you sleep in the truck, you only get 80% no matter how long you sleep. So we're going to go ahead and sleep and it shows you how much uh, food you're going to have left when you wake up. So let's get some sleep. And we are up and fully rejuvenated all the energy in the world. So, and yeah, so just, if you can come back to your headquarters to sleep, if you're in the area, you can also find hotels on the map. They, uh, you pay money of course to sleep there, but you can also get a hundred percent, uh, rest when you sleep in any bed other than your truck, essentially. So if we're going to go to the computer here. And turn it on. You can see we've got some icons on the left side here. Number one is going to be your truck dealer, which is this is where you are going to buy your trucks. You're going to start off with your class one and you can get on here and check all of your details. And they have different models that you can choose from. Some are a little bit better than others. And you can check it all the way up through class four. And, you know, it kind of gives you an idea of what you can expect down the road. If you decide you want to upgrade your class of trucks, they do get faster, the higher the class you get. So, you know, just for instance, class one, I can tell you, you're going to struggle to do 55. If you get to 55, especially with load, you'll be lucky to get to 55. Uh, in this current playthrough, I've got a class two, which is a whole lot better. And then the DLCs that I have, uh, you've got your two special trucks, of course, that you get with the DLCs which I believe if I'm not mistaken, are going to be included in the highway edition. They're supposed to release notes and stuff this week. So we can kind of go over everything that's going to be included. So that will be super handy to give to you guys once they put all that information out here. If you have a truck a spare one, you can sell it, but obviously I don't, once I upgraded my truck, I sold my old truck. And once you get with that, you can go to manage headquarters. This is where you're going to upgrade the buildings that are around your headquarters. And I'll show those here in a second. The workshop, once you get to unlock this, then you can buy the workshop. Uh, right now I can't get the level two, but you know, they're not very expensive, which makes it nice. So, and then you've got the customization where you can go in and you can do customizations on your shop. And you've got your parking spaces, which uh, in order to, once you start buying trucks, 
you can only have one truck out at a time. So whatever truck you're not using has to be inside of a parking spot. So, you know, they're not very expensive. I don't think you have to unlock any perks in order to get them. And they're pretty cheap. You can unlock the tire shop too. And once you unlock that, you can actually, uh, you know, purchase tires, repair tires, all that good stuff at your tire shop. And we'll go over the different tiers of those real quick while we're talking about them because those are all in your trucker tab here. This is where you get to unlock everything. So right now we're only going to worry about the mechanical aspect because this is the only area where you can unlock different uh, shops inside of your headquarters. So right now I've got the truck workshop number one, which allows me to go into my truck or my workshop and I can do basic repairs to the truck. You can't do all repairs, so some I still have to go to a workshop to do, but you can actually unlock, uh, like this one down here, you add a diagnostic module, and then down here you get into the advanced repair of your suspension and subsystems, and then you can just repair everything on the truck. Like I said, here's the tire workshop. That just allows you to build your tire workshop. Then you've got the second tier, which expands your tire storage, and you've got your third tier, which reduces costs. So that's always a plus. And you've got your customizer shop, which just unlocks the customization at the workshop, the tier two, which allows you to do more customization and then your tier three, which gives you more. So again, these are off of your mechanical points, which is anytime you do work on your truck by yourself, uh, you get mechanical points. It does not count if you take it to the shop, like in Fairbanks, for instance, and have them repair everything. You do not get mechanical points for that. So just kind of keep that in mind while it is super easy. And it's also way expensive to do your repairs there. Uh, you don't get mechanical points. So I will make another video that kind of shows what you can do uh, on your truck to get those mechanical, mechanical XP so you can unlock that stuff. Uh, the jobs here, which is also accessible in just your regular map screen when you pull it up, just kind of shows all the jobs in your area. You can click on the show available jobs tab and whatever license you have unlocked, it'll narrow those jobs down to that. That's pretty self-explanatory. You learn that pretty much right off the bat. You've got the Alaskan bank. You can take out a loan here. I actually have one out. So that way I can get the truck that I have currently. And you can see that Right now, I've still got uh, $13,000 uh, as far as my loan goes. Now, the nice thing is the loans come out automatically whenever you finish a job. So you don't have to worry about paying your loan back on time or anything like that. Whenever you finish a job, it takes part of your pay and your profit from that job and goes towards the paying back of your loan. Now, you can always pay it back if you decide to in full, which, of course, you know, saves you interest and all that good stuff, but I'm just letting it ride right now because why not? Uh, you can call in a replacement. I haven't done this yet, but, and I really don't know what it does. I may just have to do a video where we see what calling in a replacement does. Well, you know what? Let's, Give it a shot and let's see what this does because I have no idea. So if we do that, what's it do for us? Anything? Let's check our trucker stats. You know, it might just be changing your character in game. I, that's, I mean, who knows? I, I don't see any difference right off the bat. I could be wrong. If I'm wrong, uh, we'll find out. Okay, so that's going to cover everything that's in your PC. You can also call the replacement from the phone here. So there is that. Now, the last really cool thing that you can only do at your headquarters is you can make food other than the microwave. Now, the nice thing is, and you do have to have it ahead of time, you have to go to the store, buy yourself some uncooked, either they've got salmon, crab legs, and I think maybe something else. You come over to your stove, open it up, cook it, and it does take a little bit longer to cook, so we'll wait for that. All right, now that that's done, once we get it out, there's a couple of really nice things about this. Number one, 
we cooked one, but we got three uh, servings of it, which is awesome, number one. Number two, it gives you 82% nutrition. So the other stuff that you cook in the microwave in your truck only gives you, uh, I believe it's about 35%. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's great. So, and of course, like always, you know, keep your food in the fridge because it does, uh, increase the spoil time tremendously. We go from just shy of two days in our inventory to just shy of four days. So it makes a huge difference to keep stuff in the refrigerator, whether it's, in your headquarters or on your truck. Let's go outside and we will check out a few things out here real quick. Number one, so there's the parking that I was talking about. That's where uh, you open up your parking spots and where you can park your trucks that you're not using. Right across the way there, that's where the tire shop would be if you had it open. So that's where that goes. And then right behind the parking, this is where your customization shop would be once you unlock that. Uh, I am currently working towards upgrading everything in the workshop. So that's the only thing I have unlocked at the moment. Let's go over there and we can check that out. So getting into your workshop is just like getting into any of the other workshops. You pull up to it and you use the horn to get inside. Once you're inside, depending on what you have unlocked, you can work on things in your workshop. I'm going to not go into detail on that right now. I just kind of want to show you what it's like inside of here. And because I do plan on doing another video with just the maintenance, because if you could see on the truck, we have some work we need to do on the truck. So now that we're back outside, I'm going to show you one last thing, which is kind of a, I mean, it's a hidden little gem, I guess you could say, if you really want it to be that. So if you notice, there is a gap in the fence over here that is not your normal, it's not even on the map. So it's kind of just an off-road little gap in the fence. And when you take it, it's a slight shortcut to this uh, store that is right down the road, which has a lot of your uh, mechanical needs. So, you know, if you need oil replacement bulbs, fuses, all that stuff, you're going to find that all in there. All right. So that is your headquarters in a nutshell. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. If there's anything else you would like to see, if you feel I've missed or you'd like to know, please let me know down in the comments. I truly appreciate you, appreciate you watching. And I, if you have the game already, I know you're surely enjoying it as much as I am. And those of you getting on a console this week, uh, get ready. It's it's a blast. It'll suck you in, no doubt. It really is a fun game, and I, I hope everybody enjoys it as much as I do. But keep an eye out for more videos to come. I am going to go over uh, more of the truck details, more of the repair and mechanical side, and all of that good stuff. I want to cover all the little basics in the release and kind of what you can expect in the console edition coming up this week. So until next time, bye for now.